So we have Martin out. He said we're his two weeks of training. He has just completed week one. So I'm going to put a little bit on tape for you and kind of show you what we've worked on so far with him. Ready? Come on. No jump. Get. Martin, come. Sit. Boy, get it. Martin, come. Come. Sit. Get. Oh, you missed it. It didn't go that way. Ah. Uh -uh. Hey, you're cheating.
frustrated. That's all you think about. No. No. Sit. Just a little of him. Leave it. No. Get off. Um, there's just a little of him. I can still, you can see, we still got a long ways to go. Um, you are going to have to follow up some things with him, especially, you know, when he goes to events and stuff with you, paying more attention to you, not to everything that's going on around him. Um, a lot of it is, is he is so food motivated, part of it might be when the food is out. Um, so really start working with him, maybe with some toys and things and different distractions and just some more attention span on you. I'm going to um, get you some games and stuff that you can work on with him at home to build that attention span with y'all and kind of go from there. Uh, but he's doing good. A lot of it is not letting him get away with things. Even when he throws his fits and tries to make you feel guilty and try to make you feel bad, things like that. Um, you can't cave in. He's a dog that you just can't let get away with stuff, especially when he does throw his fits and wants to twist and turn, um, face his way when I want him to face another way, things like that. Leave it. Um, I don't allow him to sniff. Um, now that does become a personal opinion and an owner, owner's opinion. Um, but to me, his nose is going to get him in trouble. He's going to drag it, and he's going to drag you and start causing more pulling problems, things like that. So I want his head up, paying attention, uh, wait for me to give him a command to do, and follow through with it. Um, on that same note, he's throwing in the commands at the right time. When he's coming in at me, I'm telling him to sit. I'm not allowing him to jump on me. No. Good boy. Uh-uh. No. Right now, he's trying to see if the rocks are treats. Um, and again, he will pick up a rock. We've had to already get rocks out of his mouth, things like that. And so that's also another reason why I'm not allowing him to sniff or put his nose to the ground. Um, like I said, I'll go into farther detail with y'all next week. Um, right now, I'm going to put him up and give him a break. But we are going to go into more distractions, longer stays, longer distances, things like that. Um, sitting and standing doors and gateways. Um, we're going to try to get to it down. We'll see how he does. Right now, he's not quite yet ready to add on new stuff. Um, so I want to give you a call early next week, kind of follow up with you, kind of see what you think about him and what else y'all want us to add on with him. Right now I'm going to put him up and give him a break and we'll see you at the end of his session.